Well, I'm outside on this beautiful day in May and figured I'd better start a video kind of as an update on uh, on that Mosin crate that uh, me and my brothers picked up about a week ago. Um, it's complicated. The top is basically what I've done is I'm taking these uh, one by fours. Uh, I just went to Home Depot, got the common wood, the cheap stuff, which might have been a mistake, but I'm making it work. Uh, lots of knots in it, and it's not quite uh, super straight. Either way, what I've done is I've taken the dimensions of the top, and I decided to do it a little differently than I've seen it online, to whereas I'm joining it at you know these 45 degree angles. I'm only gonna make one layer thick, I think. Um, what I've done is I used my Dremel and kind of I routed out a rabbit. It's a quarter inch. A uh, place here in my city quoted me about 40 bucks for a custom cut piece of glass. Not bad, quarter inch plate glass. That's what I'm gonna sit in this little groove. Now the weird thing is is this is gonna be underneath, not on top. So I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to retain the glass. Um, I've got a couple options right now, but I'm figuring it out. So and the only reason why I'm not going to just set it in flush on the top is because you can see here on the video, um, I kind of messed up with my Dremel. So it's not a clean cut. It comes in at least a quarter inch, but it's not clean by any means. So I don't want that to be showing on top. It'd look nice if the glass was sitting flush, but at the same time, I'm not. I don't mind that there's going to be, you know, that that three-quarter inch uh, edge to the top of the coffee table. So this is where I'm at. I got the table or the the crate itself. I scrubbed it last night and then put the filler, the wood filler, in the places where it was gouged and stuff. And uh, the water is black by the time I was done. There was like mold and stuff towards the bottom and boot prints and everything and rocks stuck in the base um, but it's amazing how much it cleaned up also I got a paint match at Home Depot it's not perfect but it's not terrible either so it'll match all right and then I'll probably just end up painting the top the same and and then uh, we'll see where I go from there well just kind of a quick update uh, on the Mosin crate coffee table um, encountered some bumps along the way, like I had explained in, in the past little clip there. Uh, my decision to go with 45 degree angles versus layering, um, you know, set pieces that had been glued together and then basically sandwiching the glass between them in, in the rabbit, uh, like someone else had done. My decision to do this, uh, led me to fear the instability of you know, just, just a single crease connecting the wood, which in turn led to the purchase of a whole bunch of hardware. Um, these braces, Home Depot, uh, they weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive either. I mean, they added up pretty quick considering the amount that I bought. You know, four for the underside, I bought these four little, little corner ones here, if you can see. Try to get it in the light a little better. Uh, this is the underside, and you know, with the little braces, they barely make it to where you know I'm gonna I'm gonna use wood filler on these cracks and resand everything before painting, because obviously it wasn't perfect. So it sucks, but you know, all in all, I did leave a little bit of breathing room on the inside for when I measure the glass. You know, it's gonna be a quarter inch inlet. So, I, I've got the Dremel, so if I have to modify more, I will. Now, let me flip it over to the top side. Now, this is very different than anything you've probably ever seen. I put those on. Now, I wrestled around with the thought for the longest time, but when it came time to put the L brackets on the underside, it kind of bowed the wood at each crease because of how tight I kind of you know, gave a little extra on the screw every time, so it'd pull a little tighter, so it kind of bowed a little bit, and I didn't want that, so I figured, okay, well, you know, I'll counterbalance it with 
the top. Well, I debated and debated, you know, do I want to add more hardware to the top? And the reason I decided to add more hardware is obviously we're going to have the hinges on top. We're going to have the clasps on top. And it's already, you know, there's already a lip before you get down to the glass. So it's not like it's taking away any perfections of this crate coffee table. Because of its military surplus nature, I think once everything gets painted up, it's actually going to look like it's a part of the crate and kind of add to the qualities of, you know, a Millsurp crate coffee table. So I have high hopes for it. You know, like I said, a bunch of bumps on the way, but, you know, Home Depot's a big store. They've got a lot of things that, you know, can fix the boo-boos. Um, one problem I am encountering, though, and I'm going to run into when I get the glass, is how do I put it in? You know, there's no braces underneath, and the gravity alone is basically making the glass drop. It's not dropping into the top, it's being held up from the bottom. So, there's potential issues there. However, I bought uh, 20 or so, uh, they're called little rubber glass retainers. And they have a little thumb screw on them. I'll make another video once they arrive, and the glass uh, when I get the glass cut. But I think I think they'll do the job just fine. I'm I'm gonna caulk, you know the <clears throat> the uh, the border, squish the glass in, and then add those. And the handy thing about them, and you'll see it as well, is if I add lighting to this, I would use like a little rope light. Well, the way that they're designed is I could just use the uh, the glass. Uh, rubber glass retainer as a bracket to run the the rope light around. So that's an option for the future as well. So we'll see how it goes in the next week or so. And while I was out picking up uh, some other hardware, I decided to get more of these uh, these smaller brackets. They are pretty small, and just to to add more structural rigidity uh, and strength to each corner. So two there, one on the top and one in the corner so four brackets total that's that's basically how strong each corner of this is just got off the phone with a glass company here in my city and ordered up the glass for this 46 and three quarter by 17 three quarter and just finishing up a lot of the sanding along the edges to match up with that top uh, bracket and as you can see you know it wasn't a perfect square square um, the measurements for the inside left about one sixteenth play on on all sides, but with the window cock that I'm gonna put in there or whatever I find at the hardware store that's gonna do the job best should allow it to sit in comfortably. Um, for any cracks and open spaces like this, and with the other side like the knots and stuff, uh, get yourself some of this, um, like three three dollars or so. JB Weld makes it. And I put some on the side to fill in some of uh, some of the gouges and nasty chunks that were taken out. So far, so good. I mean, it it supposedly cures harder than hardwood, and it to the touch it seemed like it. So we'll see once I start to sand it down. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna put some of this in there in about 20 minutes. Go get my glass and go from there. So I'm doing the. Uh, I guess you could call it repair job on some of the nicks and the dings and the gouges with the paint I got from Home Depot. And it's not a 100% match. I did not expect it to be, but it is blending well. I'm using this, so I'll just get a little bit on the tip and kind of dab it along and then I'll wipe it and kind of dab it again. And it's blending really well, I think, for what it is. This one had the... Uh, the wood filler in there so it's a little lighter but all in all I mean this crate has been painted twice I believe because the paint underneath it is actually way darker so I'm gonna chalk it up to character and claim that you know what I'm doing is just adding to its character so I think it looks fine I don't think uh, it'll look any worse than the bare wood that was hanging out earlier so this is where I'm at. The uh, the lids outside drying. I just got it painted. I uh, got the glass picked up today. So, 
it's beginning to look like something. So just finished cleaning it up, got the glass all cleaned off, and it's looking good. Well today is February 1st, 2014. Been a little while since uh, May of last year when you last saw this. Um, actually the last video would have been this sitting empty, but it is no longer empty. Of the five Mosins I kept, they're all in there. Actually, I got a sixth one now, too. Picked it up at a gun show. Oh, uh, like back in December or something. Found a good deal on a Tula. But, yeah. It's actually been complete since basically last May, June. And I've been putting off, putting off, putting off making a video because there was one thing it was missing. And that one thing that was missing, I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off to make it complete. But I finally decided, you know, I, I got a really good job last June and I just got a raise and everything. So I've been doing all right. Um, and I said, you know, I could spare 23 bucks, whatever, to finally make this complete. So It is now complete. Now, I didn't go with rope lighting like I initially thought that I would. I actually went with a kind of an LED strip deal that I found on on Amazon, and then you just get a you know get a 12 volt adapter and you know, do the do the wiring yourself. It's not too hard. I'm actually thinking about wiring it into one of these lamps so I can make it dimmable or something. But yeah, um, just finished it last week. And, in my humble opinion, it is absolutely perfect. I'm kind of get a walk around for you here and back up into the kitchen a little bit. Now, the lights that I bought are really, really cold LEDs, but, I mean, compared to what we've already got in the room... Like here's here's a lamp, you know, and it's it's really warm lighting. But to me, and like my wife said last night, you know, it kind of gives it a museum quality, which kind of, I mean, everything inside is, is very crisply illuminated. But here, let me show you. Let me put it in there. So the lighting strip, it was like... 15 feet or something. I've got a little bit of extra, but it comes with an adhesive backing and I just started it in the corner here and then I ran it all the way you know, around the inside and it fits just inside the lip underneath that. So originally I was going to do the back and the front but not the sides um, but then I decided to try it this way and I thought, well, if I don't like it then I'll just chop the LEDs apart and wire them myself in whatever configuration I want, but as soon as I put them in there, closed the lid and powered it up, it was just, it was awesome. So I decided to keep it. So there you have it. Now, I was just reviewing those other videos. I'm actually getting ready to, to edit them all together to make the final YouTube um, presentation. But when I put this piece of glass in here, I bought the wrong kind of caulking. Um, so it's kind of a nasty white and then you can see the little braces there I was talking about as far as what holds it in. And really, you know, from the top you can't see any of that. And as far as strength, you know, we eat over top of this all the time. We put stuff on it all the time. And, you know, normally there's clutter all over this thing, which is not how it should be. But it's been kind of how it is. But, yeah, and I mean, as you can tell from those other videos down in the basement, out in the back of the truck... Uh, yeah, I really didn't have many tools, you know, some basic hand tools, a drill, an impact, you know, a Dremel, saw, carpenter square, um, so really, you know, I did the best with what I had, and, and honestly, I don't, I don't think it looks too horrible at all for what it is, um, and you know, the original lid is downstairs, so when we go to move this fall, um, 
you know, I might just strap the other one back on top. That way it's, it's a whole crate again. And then, you know, it'll make it a lot more transportable, but you know, I think, I think it's great for what it is. Um, kind of give you a look at, kind of have some things laid out in there on display. I got some oil bottles. I got all the, all the bayonets underneath and, uh, Army first aid kit that holds all the like the little tools and the cleaning supplies and when I got the gun show I had the old style pouch so I got that in there I got a I got a uh, spam can here and oh, and I'll show you one thing here I make these out of leather I haven't perfected them yet but it's a uh, it's a butt butt pouch. And uh, you use 550 cord, you sling it onto the back, and you run your sling through there. And this will hold two to three stripper clips, and then, of course, you got that on the outside for five more rounds. I have built, or I've uh, got my name engraved on there in the leather, too. Uh, I've got another one here that's brown. Got to see it in there. That one's a lot, a lot nicer. Yeah, I can't get it out, but... An improving design. I haven't sold any. I haven't really put any up for sale, but I don't know if they're worth anything or not. They're pretty cool, though. I use uh, some decent leather, and then I do all the stitching and the dyeing myself. So, One thing, though, if, if you decide to use this kind of lighting for anything, find a better way to attach it because the, uh, the 3M adhesive backing kind of sucks for wood, so every time I open this, I kind of pop it back on the places where it kind of peels off. I'll figure out a better method eventually. Maybe some double-sided tape or something. I just didn't want to put anything on there that would be permanent, so. But there we have it. The Mosin Crate coffee table is now 100%. It has the lighting. I am, I'm going to do something different for the for the cord, obviously. Uh, having this in the middle of the room is uh, not right, so. I might just get some two wire and then run the wire inside the crate and then maybe run it down the side and then either try to go under the carpet somehow, like if I poke a little hole, or uh, get like a little cord hider and go from here under the couch or something, something more presentable. Um, we'll show you though, uh, the paint's kind of coming off this corner because I sit in this chair all the time and bump it a lot, but that's just due to me not prepping those hardware pieces properly but other than that everything looks pretty pretty darn good um, and of course yes as you would expect uh, with the lights now inside it is impossible to keep this glass clean every speck of dust every smudge becomes illuminated so you probably can't see much in the video and I did just clean it really really well several times but there it is and uh, no it's not for sale hope you all enjoyed and uh, if you want more videos I mean I don't get to shoot very often but you know I got a couple other guns I like to shoot you know I shoot a little trap with my brothers and then we target shoot we got Mosin's ARs and stuff like that so if you want more videos of anything I do, I mean, comment, holler out. I mean, it's hard to make videos because I work, you know, 50 plus hours a week, but I do what I can when I can. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Had a good look. Uh, maybe I'll throw in a couple pictures or something of the process too, but uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. <laughs>